What are you at, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lycos, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about new player tips and tricks in No Man's Sky. From how to get units and nanites very quickly, all the way to the best upgrades for your multi tool, ship, and exosuit. Let's start off with a very easy way to farm units. Now, this is probably the easiest method to farm units in the game. And you can also do this super early in your playthrough. All you need is a ship and the positron ejector ship weapon. You can get this weapon very early on in your playthrough as soon as you get to the anomaly. This method is more effective if you have upgrades for the positron ejector and the more S-class upgrades you have the more effective it'll be. And all you need to do is find a planet that has salt on it. So just go around scanning planets. As soon as you find one with salt on it, head down there Planets with salt almost always have large bodies of water. Then you're just going to land, jump out of your ship, head down and scan everything that's underneath the water. The most important thing that you need to scan down there is whatever has salt as the main resource. Once you get that, you're just going to jump back in your ship and then fly around shooting down into the water. You're going to farm up all that salt, which is worth quite a few units. And then you're just going to fly to the space station and sell your salt to the pilots that are flying in. As I said, right now this is probably one of the easiest and earliest methods that you can do to get millions of units pretty quickly. Now that's not saying that Hello Games is not going to change this in the future. Hello Games changes things so often in this game. And that's why I have a couple more unit farming tips for you later on in the video. Right now before we get further into the tips and tricks, I want to talk to you about something that you're only going to be able to do for a limited time. And that's the newest expedition. As of right now, there's four weeks left to this expedition, but I highly recommend this expedition, especially for new players. Now I would recommend as a new player that you start a normal playthrough first, play through the first few hours of the game, maybe get as far as the anomaly, get a little bit comfortable with the game, learn some of the systems, and then try out the expedition. This expedition in particular is very new player friendly, and it gives you a ton of awesome rewards. And then once you get to the end of the expedition, that playthrough just becomes a normal save. And you even get an amazing, amazing ship. It's actually my new favorite ship in the whole game. It only takes a few hours to finish this expedition, so make sure you take advantage of it while you still can. Now earlier we talked about a great way to farm units. Now let's take advantage of all those units to get amazing ships and an absolute ton of nanites. What we're going to need to do first, we're going to need to pick up an economy scanner, which you can also get on the anomaly and then we're going to head out and explore. So by this I mean that we're going to go to our galactic map and once we have the economy scanner installed we're going to be able to see the economy for every system and we're going to be looking for three star economies. Whenever I'm playing No Man's Sky the majority of systems that I explore are three star economy systems. This is because you have a better chance of finding higher class ships and upgrades in three star systems. So we're going to warp to the first three star system that we find once we get to the three star system, we're going to use the economy scanner to scan for a trading post. Trading posts are very useful in this game. They're the best place to go ship hunting because ships are constantly coming and going from the trading post. And if you're hunting for a high class or an exotic ship, there's no better place than a trading post in a three star system. A quick and easy way to check out the stats on the ships as they're flying in is just to use your analysis visor. Now another thing that we can do here at the trading post is to farm nanites. Now this is a very straightforward and easy method to do. All we're going to be doing is buying up ships, bringing them up to the space station and scrapping them for their components and upgrades. We're going to be selling the components to recoup some of our units and then we're going to sell the upgrades to an upgrade vendor for a whole bunch of nanites. And then we can repeat this process for as many times as we want, as long as we've got enough units. And then of course we can use those nanites to buy upgrades for our ships, multi-tool, and our exosuit. I usually find that I get the most bang for my buck if I avoid buying C-class ships. I wouldn't advise using C-class ships for this method. This method is even faster if you buy and sell the ships that are coming into the space station. Now let's talk about another unit farming method that I like to use. Now for this method, we're going to be changing the goods availability to abundant. And we're doing this because then you'll be able to buy oxygen from pilots. All you need to do is buy up as much oxygen as you can afford, and you also need a little bit of chlorine. 
once you have this, you're just gonna go to a base, and then in your base, you're gonna want a medium refiner, and that blueprint you can get from the anomaly. Then we're gonna use the refiner to refine the oxygen and the chlorine into more chlorine. And because chlorine is worth a lot more than oxygen, you're making a ton of units. Like I said, you do have to change one of the difficulty settings in order for this to work. Or if you don't want to change this difficulty setting, you can also use oxygen harvesters. This is another way that you can get oxygen, but it's not nearly as fast as just buying it from the pilots. Now, speaking of your base, I always like to build bases near trading outposts. This way, if you're into base building and you're spending a lot of time there building your bases, or if you're spending a lot of time, say, refining oxygen into chlorine, you can take breaks to check out the ships that are coming and going and maybe find one that you want to buy or you can buy them for the nanite farming method that I mentioned earlier and building your base at a trading post is also very useful because then you always have pilots right next to your base that you can sell stuff to. Now before we get to the end of the video let's talk about the upgrades that I recommend for new players. Let's start with the exosuit. The best upgrades that I can recommend that you get for your exosuit is definitely the movement upgrades. It's very nice to be able to use your jetpacks for longer As for your multi-tool, I recommend that you get scanner upgrades. A huge part of No Man's Sky is getting out there and exploring and cataloging everything that you find, which means you're going to be scanning a lot of stuff. So why not make a lot of extra units while you're doing it? Now a really good weapon to put on your multi-tool is the Scatter Blaster. This thing absolutely wrecks anything that you're shooting at. Highly recommend getting the Scatter Blaster and then a few S-Class upgrades for the Scatter Blaster. Last up, let's talk about the upgrades for your ship. Hyperdrive upgrades are a must for any explorer in No Man's Sky. You're going to be able to warp a lot further if you get the S-Class hyperdrive upgrades. And then the last thing that I'm going to recommend is the Positron Ejector. This thing is an amazing ship weapon. It's like an overpowered shotgun for your ship. And once you get a few S-Class mods for this thing, it is absolutely insane. Now that's it for the upgrades and the tips and tricks. As always, I appreciate you all watching. Hit that like button if that's what you're into. And of course, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you're too. Later, everyone.